Alright everybody, I want to make this quick little video today talking about my favorite weapon going into next season. And I'm not talking about Fixed Odds the Goat, okay? I'm talking about a weapon that's actually receiving a change, mainly a buff, going into Season 22. Now, y'all can tell by the thumbnail, y'all know what it is. It's the Ariana's Vow. It's my favorite hand cannon. Main reason it's my favorite hand cannon is it's a special weapon. And who doesn't like special weapons, right? Right, right? In all seriousness though, the Ariana's Vow is a really cool concept for a weapon. It's a hand cannon that hits like a freight train. My boy, it's got a 90 RPM, but it's got a max impact and max range. I know some people's favorite hand cannon going into next season is definitely going to be their Malfeasance. Rightfully so, because that thing scatterless is pretty nutty. And in case some of you out there that are watching this were a little unaware of just the type of buff the hand cannons are getting next season, let me enlighten you a little bit. First of all, they're getting a nice little bump in the reload stat, which is always nice. Help them feel a little bit less sluggish. And then then the PVE damage buff, it's pretty nasty, dude. So first of all, red bars, your minor combatants, they're getting a 20% damage buff against those type of enemies. Nothing too crazy. Hand cannons already received a 20% damage buff against red bars in season 20, and now they're getting another 20% against red bars in season 22. You know what it do. They're also getting, this is the, this is the juicy bit right here, in case you didn't know, a 75% damage increase against major combatants. Those are your orange bars, my boy. That's nothing to scoff at or glaze over. That's, that's pretty nasty. Especially for, you know, your Malfeasance fans out there. That's an exotic primary that's received a lot of buffs. And a really nasty catalyst pretty recently. So you know that thing's gonna cook. But Ariana's is the hardest hitting hand cannon and instant gaming is the best place to be for getting your games at a cheaper price along with their dlc they also do monthly free game giveaways which is pretty dope if you want to get your games for a discounted price instant gaming is the best place to be and they don't say anywhere in these notes that ariana's vow is not receiving this buff in case people are trying to cap out and saying oh it's a special weapon it's not going to receive these buffs now because this is an ariana's video i do just want to talk about the gun itself and its main perks obviously the main thing is that this thing hits like a truck and it has built-in anti barrier rounds for anti-barrier champions which is really dope and then the death at first glance perk allows for this gun to have bonus damage when ads on the opening shot of an attack this bonus is preserved if the shot deals precision damage or strikes an elemental shield and the catalyst for this gun gives it three more in the magazine and auto loading holster which is dope because the reload on this thing is pretty sluggish i'll be real with you and if you want to try and do some more cracked out shenanigans you could slot on the hunter exotic boots the lucky pants with the fat juicy hand cannon buff coming next season i wanted to make a little video talking about my favorite hand cannon going into next season and here we are let me know what your favorite hand cannon going into next season is after we get that juicy hand cannon buff. Is it the Malfeasance? Is it the Ariana's Vow? Maybe it's something different. Drop it down in the comments below. Thank you for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Y'all be safe out there, and we'll see you in the next one.